guys, another video that is going to be one of my favourites. This is the second one of these videos. Uh, the first one I talked about the movie One Day. Uh, if you want to see that, I'll probably link it down below in the description, if I remember, hopefully. Uh, but if not, it's just it's called One of My Favourites, hashtag one. This is One of My Favourites 2. Now, none of these movies have gotten very deep at the moment or really in-depth, but they, like I say, they're movies I will have just watched. And uh, obviously, so I can, uh, the movies that I've seen many times before, obviously with them being some of my favourites, and then I will just watch them again and then make the video about it. So because it's summer, I kind of end up watching like really fancy movies, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I do have a lot of kind of, a lot of range of movies come planning up, planning up, coming up uh, of these kind of series. But today I'm going to be talking about 13 going on 30. Now, uh, oh, this is going to be a funny one, but I just... There's so much that I really love about this movie and it's kind of um, a funny one because I'm not a big fan of Jennifer Garner I'm not a big fan of her and it's one of those things this movie I really I thought I, she's okay in it she's fine in it but other movies she kind of annoys me a bit but um, you know so with that exception I think this movie is great but I kind of grew up grew up with it like um, I watched it when I was younger and it was a really big it kind of it was a good influential movie like a lot of music in here I also really liked so basically I kind of explain the story. I haven't really got a proper structure planned out for this one, as you can probably already tell. Um, so I'm just kind of go go with it and tell you my thoughts on it, why it's one of my favourites, some things I really like about it, and just the general outline of the movie. So obviously, if I guess you can tell by the title, we've got 13 and 30. It's about a girl who is 13 years old, who on her 13th birthday wishes that she can be 30, and um, you know she ends up that she wakes up the next day, and she's 30, and it's kind of about that, and she's like, whoa. What has happened? You know, we've kind of seen the storyline before, like for example, maybe with Big and things like that, which Big is brilliant. I love that. But anyway, um, so but when she's a thirteen-year-old, it's in the eighties, um, so it's got a lot of eighties music in this one. We've got, um, but I also love the soundtrack to this. This is one of the things that makes me so. It's a really happy, feel-good movie, and the soundtrack is brilliant. Um, for example, we've got Vienna by Billy Joel. We've got Thriller, Michael Jackson. There's a really fun scene um, of Thriller in this movie. Um, we've got Jessie's Girl. We've got uh, Lovers of Battlefield, and um, there's there's so many other great songs in here that I absolutely love. And the music really does make this movie um, a higher for me. But yeah, so basically it's about this 13 year old who wants to really be a part of this group called the Six Chicks, I think that's what they're called and you know they're kind of like the popular girls who are just like well you know and she wants to be a part of those but she has this best friend called Matt and um, they're kind of a little bit nerdy I guess and that she wants to be a part of the Six Chicks, this main popular group and you know it's kind of her goal and she kind of um she invites them to her party and like you know they just throw her coats on her she, they make her do her, their work for them uh, you know and she's kind of just taking it and trying to get into this group and maybe letting some of her morals set aside to try and be part of this popular group and this Matt her best friend does some really really sweet things for her and gets her a really sweet birthday present and she kind of doesn't see that at the time anyway then she wishes to be 30 and the next day she is 30 through something that I I won't I won't tell you because I don't want to ruin it but anyway so she wakes up and she's 30 and she's like oh my gosh what has happened, like she tries to ring her mum and dad, because obviously you know, she was just 13 the night before, she tries to ring her mum and dad and they're on holiday, she's like, wait, what, you went on holiday without me? She's living with this man and she's like, whoa, uh, like, what is going on? Um, and then she has also got a job um, as an Agassi Agazine? magazine <laughs> editor at Poise, which Poise magazine is a magazine that she's always loved as a child and, you know, it's like a dream job, so she's like, oh wow, I got my dream job. Anyway, the story kind of, you know, carries on with that fish out of water, like, whoa, I'm now older, and I can do this, and I can do that, and there's a lot of fun scenes that go on with that, and plus, the time has changed, that is what's great with this movie as well, like, now she has a cell phone, and she hears this noise, she's like, what is it, what's that noise, what's that noise, and it's great, because obviously, you know, things are different, she, like, so much has changed between the times, because it's such a big gap, not only has she changed age, it's, like, skipped ahead completely to the new time, which I love about this movie, I'm glad that she didn't just turn 30 and it be the same time period it's like the whole time period changed and it's now the uh, what, when was this movie made? 2000s? it must be the 2000s, I think it's set in no I don't know, I can't figure that out right now, my maths is not quite sharp on to be able to figure that out right now but anyway, it's set like you know, present day and it's also set in New York which you know I really really love and it's got some really nice scenes in Central Park and things like that, it's really really great setting for the movie 
Um, but yeah, I really, really love that. I'm glad they didn't just change her age. They changed the whole time period, and it's great. Um, so yeah, so you've kind of got a fun fish out of water thing, which I always love in movies. And then you kind of... It's kind of like a coming of age story, but in a weird way. Uh, because she's looking back at her past and trying to find out what happened. And she maybe did things that when she looks back on, she thinks that was... That seems like it's great, but it might not have been. Um, she reconnects with her friend, Matt who I kind of talked about in a minute, who she's who she best friends with and she finds out some things that maybe mistakes that she'd made in the past and um, you know things that maybe she now looks back on and thinks oh I wonder why you know why I did that and the choices that she made she kind of reflects on and realises them from like a different point of view anyway it's just a really really great movie and I feel like it has a really really nice lesson to it um, I love the end, I love there's so much about it that I just really like I like you know like I say that she looks back on her life and thinks, I mean, I guess we shouldn't really look back at the past too much, but she doesn't know the past because she's that she does next day turn 30, so it's really interesting for her to look back and see what she's done in her life and what she's, you know, where how she's got to where she is because she doesn't know. So it's kind of her figuring out herself without knowing, if that makes sense. Um, and it's really interesting to see the kind of person that she becomes from who she was. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so I think this is a lot more than just what it, is given to be. Um, you look at this movie and it doesn't look like it has much depth but for me I personally think it has quite a bit more depth than it might just perceive itself. Uh, you know, it's kind of a chick flick girly film but it's also kind of a fun, happy, it's a feel good movie. It honestly it always makes you feel great and there's some really fun scenes in there and uh, yeah there's a lot more to it than I've explained but I really 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 enjoy it and it's definitely one of my favourites. Sometimes I'll be like eh, I don't really like that film anymore and then I put it on like oh yeah I love this film <laughs> so it's just one of those it's always stuck with me and I kind of you know I grew up watching this one for when I was kind of a young teenager I really really liked it so yeah I definitely recommend this one if you haven't seen it and if you've kind of just cast it aside think it's going to be just a general uh, chip flick that won't be very good I definitely recommend you check this one out and you'll probably really enjoy it um, there's also a couple of fun things in this one. Um, they have Razzles. Uh, I don't know if, if you're American, you might know what Razzles are if you have them in your country. I personally never knew what Razzles were. And they have these Razzles and they say, oh, Razzle Red. And I was like, I don't know what Razzles are. And so, because we don't have Razzles, or a lot of this American stuff that you hear in the movies, we don't have. And then this one time, uh, I found Razzles and I was like, oh, Razzles, they're from 13 going on 30. And I tried them. And honestly, I was really disappointed. I was like, what are these razzles? <laughs> um, yeah, so razzles, I was like, hmm. But there's some other things which, you know, I won't talk about in this video because they're not related. That food-wise, I've seen in movies, tried and loved. Uh, but yeah, razzles, I was a bit like, huh, hmm. Yeah, I think they're like a candy and a gum. I'm sure they say that in the movie as well. But yeah, overall, I think this movie's great. Perfect feel-good movie. It's Sunday afternoon, rainy day type of movie. Definitely check this one out if you haven't already. If you have seen this movie, let me down in the comments below what you think about it. Um, yeah, this, this video probably wasn't as long as my first one, but that's kind of, uh, you know, I think I've explained the reasons why it's my favourite. I It's a feel-good movie. I just love a lot about it. I love the time differences that you can really see difference. I like that she reflects back. I like the message. I just kind of really like this movie. And the soundtrack, of course. I love that. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one of my favourites, number two. I will have more of these on the way. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed these. I'll be having a lot of different movies talked about. Not just kind of, I feel like I've talked about two really girly movies in a row. We're going to really mix it up, I promise. Uh, yeah, until then, guys, I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you are a newbie. And I will see you then. Goodbye!